What's up, Meg gang? It's your Fit Doc here, aka Kristen Simone. And in this video, I'll be going over how I study with Next Step for the MCAT. Books are here. Blueprint, blueprint, test prep, other known as next step, test prep for DMK. I'm sure y'all heard of next step. If not, look it up. It's pretty common, pretty popular. I saw it whenever I was researching how to study for the MCAT, so. And this, these are my books. So this is the physics book. Kind of resembles to the Kaplan seven subject books that I already have. Um, so physics, biochem. Yep, just like the, just like the Kaplan. Psych and social. Oh, well, chemistry and organic chemistry is actually put into one book. For the Kaplan books, they're split into two. Biology, which I actually need to go over something out of this today. And then, of course, the cars, last but not least. It also came with a pen pad. Um, a pen tablet. Never seen this before. But I think what this is used for is whenever you have one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions and you're like solving problems, you can write on this pen pad and it will virtually show the tutor what you're writing down so you can kind of like work on things together, I guess. So me and my tutor came up with a day-by-day -day schedule up until the day that I actually take my MCAT for what I'll be going over and my different activities. So we broke down my activities by things that we should be doing every day and things that I'll be adding on to that. With this next step slash blueprint MCAT one-on-one -on -one tutoring uh, along with the resources, it allows you to move your schedule around. It allows you to be flexible. And if you're already good on a certain topic, then like they won't make you go over it again. It's very personalized and customized to what you need. It also alleviates stress. I work full time at a hospital, so I really don't need like to have too much on my plate. I've already taken the MCAT, so I already kind of know like what's gonna be on it. I'm familiar with it. Um, so I'm not as stressed as I could be. However, I'm, st I'm already working full time and I don't wanna bite off more than I can chew. So it really is helpful to have someone go behind you and create this list for you and work with your schedule to make sure that you're getting everything that you need to know before you take the MCAT. Along with this daily schedule, we have a daily checklist. Included in this timeline is doing one car section not section, one car's passage every day before you get into like your science related content. So that's what I'm actually about to do right now. Um, I'll do one passage every day, go over it. And she actually gave me some resources to help and I'll be sharing those resources with you as well. Along with cars passages, I come up with concepts that I don't understand as well as I should. And I put, a, I put them on a flashcard. And I'll show you the app that I use um, for flashcards, actually. I think it's very helpful, and my tutor actually helped me with it because she's the one who introduced the resource to me. I'll share it later with you on this video. But, um, yes, I do flashcards. And those flashcards actually correlate with um, the next thing that I do every day. And that is going over my psych social terms that I don't understand or that I'm not familiar with. And I'll also be inserting a link on the psych social um, 300 page Khan Academy document that I'm sure a lot of people have probably heard about. I'll be including that in the description so it'll be a resource for you if you need it. Another thing that I forgot to let you guys know is that, um, another important thing that is good to use whenever you're studying for the MCAT, the official guide to the MCAT exam. I think this is good, uh, but it really doesn't matter what I think. I know that it is good because it gives you like the things that you have to know for the MCAT. So I'm actually gonna get started. I've been using Blueprint Test Prep for two weeks now, and I can say that it is so helpful having all these resources at my fingertips. Blueprint provides a customized study plan that is made just for you. 
It all starts when you take a diagnostic exam where the MCAT tutors examine your strengths and weaknesses, whether it be strategy or content related. Blueprint also provides you with over a thousand question sets, including passages and discrete questions. They provide you with 10 full length exams, access to AAMC resources, along with pre-recorded lessons that range from glycolysis to different sociology terms. You have the option to opt in for a class or a one-on-one -on -one tutor. I think it's a great resource and I'll continue to keep you guys updated on how it's going. Um, I feel like I am, I feel like I may be taking, okay, so I have a couple things running through my mind. The first thing is maybe I never mastered the content as well as I thought I did the first time. Um, cause at first I was like, okay, there's no way that I'm, I'm going to know, um, this amount of information in a couple months for every single subject. I was like, there's no way they're expecting us to know this much. Like I, I graduated with a high GPA. I graduated with like good grades in all my science classes. So like, I'm like, okay, so there's, it's not a content problem because I, I obviously know the content because my grades show it, but yeah. but I'm like, but is it a content problem? Maybe it is a content problem because maybe I just forgot some of the things that I learned back when I was a sophomore and a junior, and it just kind of like, it's like in my brain, but it's like not really in the forefront of my brain. Anki. Anki, if you haven't heard of it, Anki is a um, flashcard app. Anki allows you to customize flashcards to help study for a topic of your choice. I've included some terms that I study daily for the MCAT. What I like about this app is that it helps you organize how well you know certain terms without you going back over all of your flashcards at one time. For example, the bore effect. When I flip over the card, Anki asks me to rate the difficulty of the question. If it took me a while to answer, I will click again and it will show it to me within the next minute. If a flashcard is easy, it will be randomized and I may see it show up within four days or within two weeks. Just depends on how often I get it correct. I believe Quizlet can do something similar to this, but I found Anki easier to work with. Another good thing about Anki is that it doesn't make you overwork yourself. After you have gone over the limit of daily cards, it stops you. Don't worry though, you can change the limit through the settings if you want to get more work in. Now Anki is a little pricey, but it's well worth it if you're going to use it continuously and if you're a flashcard person. It's also available on your computer and online. So yeah guys, those are my, those are the things that I'm using right now. Um, I think that it's helping me a lot, like I said, and the key is just repetition. Um, we all know that this test is, is a bear but it's possible and it's possible with these resources that i'm using now so that was all for this video i wanted to just let you guys in on what i'm using and how i'm studying for the second go round at this mcat and uh, that's it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one